What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. It's the second installment of the Train Anywhere series. And today I just want to show you a couple of drills that you can use in a local park. Now you don't need to go to a field every time you want to do an individual training session. I mean, yeah, you're not going to have a set of goals, you're not going to have a nice field laid out for you, but honestly, the beautiful game is played on grass, so we're going to train on grass. Remember, we don't want to make excuses. But you can work on a whole bunch of other attributes. So today we're going to focus a bit on juggling, first touch control, footwork, slight bit of strength, and basically my overall technical endurance. So as you can see here, I'm starting my warm up by juggling 100 times using all different parts of my body. This is just for a bit of fun, just to get my legs loose. And obviously I recommend performing dynamic stretches beforehand just to prevent injuries. Alright, so let's get into it. So this is a linear combination and it's made up of two of my favourite drills that I used to live by in college. So start with we're doing some directional squats and basically I'm jumping from the start all the way up to the end. I cut back around, sprint back, complete the linear footwork drill through the cones. I sprint up to the last cone, figure eight movement, I sprint back and I head into the next set of cones and perform the linear dribbling drill. Again, you can perform any combination with the footwork and the dribbling. And here I'm just performing the inside-outside technique. So dribble through, reach the top cone, you come back through the cones and that will be the end of the first set. So I'll complete 10 sets in total and this drill is really going to kill you. And the focus is on complete technical endurance. So the directional squats are supposed to get your legs under fatigue, then the sprints and the footwork, again to increase the lactic acid buildup. Now I've deliberately left the technical drill as the last phase, as I want to challenge myself mentally and physically, because the only time you're 100% in a match situation is right at the beginning of the game. So you want to keep your training match specific as possible. In a few of these sets that you're seeing, my dribbling on the way back through the cones is a bit touch heavy. And you guys will completely understand if you go out and perform this. You learn the body isn't as quick as your mind. And in your head, you're trying to tell your feet to do one thing, but your feet are just incapable of going at such a fast pace, especially if you're just starting out. And this is why I've set out this technical endurance drill deliberately, to get the lactic acid in my legs first, and then dribble while under that stress. But I believe this is an effective way to build your endurance levels up. So now move on to another technical endurance drill, incorporating more combinations. Basically I start off with a zigzag dribble, using both feet. I come up to the first set of cones, and I gotta perform a ball manipulation technique. That could be an L drag back, could be a step over, could be a river lino. Totally up to you and whatever you feel you need to work on. At the second set of cones, again I perform another ball manipulation technique, and I'm playing a simple short pass between the path bubbler and my equipment bag. Now once I play that pass, I'm working on my reaction time and I sprint as quickly as possible up to that hill. And that last sprint can be great for a variety of game situations. So it's one all and it's the 86th minute, playing that short firm pass into your number 10, but then your number 10 loses it. Then the opposition are on the counter and you've got to sprint back to help your teammates out to prevent them from scoring. The second situation could be very similar but it's on the opposite end. So you play that ball into number 10 and you want to make that bursting run forward to give your team a chance to score. So again, you're going to complete 10 sets in total. Now, I know there are only two drills in this training session, but the 10 set volume for each drill is going to really get you. I hope you enjoy the session, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't for more training sessions, tutorials. Keep a lookout for a new vlog series coming soon, guys. We've got something big planned. MPF's going to get the ball rolling. Catch you, guys. <laughs>